Hello everybody, Shift Regen with another modded inscription act one run. And today I will be playing the minecards mod by minecards. I thought it was by apples, but it says by minecards, so I don't know. So yeah, the mod is you're know, gonna see. <laughs> like it's one of the most famous games in the universe. So in the universe, I guess on Earth. Yep, we're gonna go drafting mod, and let's guess. Yep, this is the mod. <laughs> it is uh, the Minecraft mod, and do you know? Th isn't this like this is this is insanely unique? Do you see this? We got like the little um, what the background? Like the cards are completely different. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's really decent. By the way, what are these cards? I'm not gonna be able to play anything here. Three cost, three five with what? Draw vex. When a card bearing the sigil is played, a vex card will be created. A vex is defined as a two power, one health airborne. Okay. Uh, slime. Four bones for one three. Splitting. When a card bearing the sigil dies, it will split into two smaller versions of itself. Okay. Wait a minute. First of all, a vex is created. It will be created in hand. I get. If it's in hand, then um, does it cost anything? I mean, this costs already three. I'm not sure if I'm going to take this. But the thing is, if I want to transfer this to something else. Slime, so it splits into a version, small versions of cells. Still costs four bones, though. Enderman. Ooh, black background. Man, the backgrounds are insane. Look at this. This. I hope it doesn't lag the game out. Who cost two, four with what? Shift. When their turn ends, a card bearing the sigil will randomly teleport to an available space on the board. This is a uh, this is printer, but worse. <laughs> it's a two. Yeah, this is actually this is literally an elk, but worse, <laughs> but more awesome uh, match image wise. But it's worse. Vindicator. Two cost, one five. That does what? I like that they have the new sword symbols too. Momentum. When a card bearing the sigil moves at the end of the owner's turn, it will gain one damage. When a card bearing this when a card bearing this sigil moves at the end of the owner's turn, it will gain one damage. When? I guess it does also always move. So it starts as a 1-5 and then it's a 2-5 and then it's a 3-5. I guess. <laughs> Skeleton Jockey. One blood, one bone. Not really hard to play, honestly. And it is a 1-2 that has Sniper and also tries to you know, move around. And we've got three Enchanted Books. So what these cards are, are no plan. They are not playable. I mean, they cost like 6 energy or something. They're not really playable. And um, they actually just have one sigil on them that you can transfer to something else with a Sacrifice thing. So those are completely useless cards that do something insane. For example, this gives you a splitting. I could take this and transfer it onto this, and then this thing when it dies, it will also split. I don't know in what it will split. If there is a default unit that thing split into, or if it's gonna split in itself minus health. I don't know how exactly this works, but it works. Same goes with Steel Trap, killing an opponent right away, and also regen with healing. Um, okay, these are like extremely bad ones. Good thing I have a both pelt. I think I'm gonna go with... Um, first of all, do I want to see how this looks, or do we think it just goes down and then goes up? If this looks like insane, like glitches or something. First of all, I'm thinking about taking the Evoker and transferring it to something. So I can take Evoker, Enderman, Vindicator, and Skeleton Jockey, because I don't like like these. Uh, or I can even take Slime if I, I really want to like test splitting, I could take Slime. But uh, I think I want to go with Evoker to transfer it to something else, like this Draw Vex. Oh, Draw Vex. Okay, it's definitely in your hand, by the way. Anybody commenting already that uh, I don't read, like, literally the name of this? Um, yeah, I don't know how much the Vex costs, though. It's 2-1 power airborne. 1, 2, 3, 4, I would say. Not really being able to play turn 1. And transfer the Vex onto the Skeleton Jockey. I guess. I guess that's the simplest thing I can do. Or I can get the enchanted book, as I said. Or the slime, like, it's it's the same thing. These two are the same thing. Now, let's let's go with uh, my first gut feeling. Let's see what we get as pelts. Ooh, they're even... They're, they're like, blinky. Because they are supposedly... <laughs> nice, I love it. I love it, because they're enchanted. Okay, first of all, I'm pretty sure people see Fagandi here and are like, No, no, Sif, don't pick Fagandi, it's gonna be a boring run again. No, Sif, don't pick Fagandi, it's gonna be a boring run again. Well, first of all... This Fecundity, I think, is insanely stupid. <laughs> this is a good card to get Fecundity on, a Creeper. It's a 1-1-1, one, 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 but it it has Brittle, so it will die no matter what I do, and it will also detonate, so I can't even chain it with Fecundity. So this is like a good use for, the, for Fecundity. Honestly, this might be one of the Fecundities that people are not gonna be bored about. Which, man, the graphics are... Look at, look at these! Wrath. 
Uh, what is this? Uh, four bonds, two, two, that has intimidate. Upon playing a card bearing the sigil, your opponent will be forced to pass their next turn. What? This is broken. Four bones and you win? Imagine not... Ha oh, it's brittle though. It dies. It itself dies. Who cares? This is insane. Uh, this is insanely insane. Enchanted book with moving around. Enchanted book with spikes and spikes. Super spikes. I cannot transfer these. Enchanted book that's free and also splits. I mean, it's gonna play itself for free. Enderman that plays itself for free. Honestly, the exploding cre a creeper that are infinite might be a fun idea, but the Enderman is also a fun idea. It's free. This uh, four bones. I, I I don't like the four bones. Like I I would like to avoid four bones. Uh, let's go with the Enderman. Let's go with the Enderman. Let's let's have like two Endermans in the deck. Ah, I didn't really. Re maybe maybe I should have read the witch a bit better. Uh, let's go transfer and let's go transfer this thing onto this thing. And then I have another transfer there, in case I need it. I need some one blood cost cards. Right, let's transfer this, it's too expensive. And let's put it on the Scully Jockey. Oh, now it's even... I don't know how they did this, but this mod is really well made. Like, the, the cards being goldenized. I I don't know. It's I love it. I love it. I even have a custom... I little have the pig. My custom little... Wait, where's the... Excuse me? I have the mechanic that makes sure I draw a good card. Hands? Oh, I guess because... Yeah, I, I get what happened. I'll just play the pig. Pass. Or maybe... No, I should not have played the pig. I lied. Good thing I played the pig. Enderman is here. <laughs> um, yeah, Enderman's gonna do the kill. And we're gonna see how this thing works. The shift. Oh. Hello? Shift? Hello? When turn nines, a card the sigil will randomly teleport around available space on the board. Did it not happen or, or the, did it randomly teleport to north nothingness, to nowhere? Vex is zero cost to one. Insane. Love it. Target. Boop, boop. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Have the cards we're getting. Let's go for a one cost here because I still don't have a single one cost. Are you kidding me right now? Okay, let's go for one cost. Zombie! Zombie! The shoveling zombie is... It's rotten flesh emits a fallen order. I mean, insane. Seems like the power level of this um, mod is above average. <laughs> one cost, one three with this thing. He is definitely above average. And um, I would say we transfer the Vindicate round to it instead of getting a pack rat. Give me a sec, actually. Okay, I'm back. Um, yeah, just ask the mod if there are custom pack rats in this thing. And uh, no, they're not. So off we go to the sacrifice. <laughs> We're not gonna add, like, random cards in the deck. Uh, I would say we go with Vindicator. Uh, making the zombie more powerful every round. Because a 1-3 is not really that crazy. While a 1-3 that moves around and also has Stinky and becomes a 2-3 and then a 3-3. Yeah, I, I hate moving around. I'm not, I'm not sure if momentum works like that, actually. So let, let's transfer and let's see. We're gonna see, we're gonna see. And also, I do have a mod that says that I my starting hand does not include bone costs in case I don't have bones to actually play in the bone costs. So that's the reason why we didn't draw the skeleton previously until I get like the sacrifice thing. And we will have a zombie in every single one of our hands. Uh, let's play a zombie so it moves to the right of the wolf cub. Like this. I, th I hope it moves, right? Yep, it moves and it gets damaged. Wow, this is insane. This is like an insane sigil. This is an insanely insane sigil. Let's go here. Yeah, we are a bit overpowered right now. <laughs> Whoops. Whoopsie. <laughs> but still, it is what it is. We're, we're going to continue here. The, the, the deck is going to become bigger and bigger. And we're going to be start becoming more useless over time. I... I don't want to go there. I, I don't want to go this. Uh, let, let's go like this path. Let's get a flame. I don't know what this is going to give us, but I'm going to do the safety check, which is, do we have a sing- Oh no, oh no, this is an amalgam, an amalgam in the making. I'm going to just assume that there are some kind of serpentines in this. Nope. <laughs> nope. Amalgam in the making. Uh, pff, I don't know. I, what can I do now with the amalgam? You know what? I'm going to throw the amalgam on the, on the, bo you know, to get the permanent bone thing. It's going to be in the deck for a bit, but can't do anything about it right now. Let's go with this Skeleton Jockey on the damage boost. And I'm gonna go twice. I like announcing before I go. Nope, it's okay. It, it happens. It happens. It happens. I like announcing before I start the rolls. Uh, how many rolls I'm gonna do. And uh, we rolled uh, lose. <laughs> I think I want to use items to go in the middle. 
Because if I go Sacrifice Outlet, I'm gonna be forced to transfer the Enderman onto Amalgam, which I definitely don't wanna do. Zombie is here. Let's play the zombie over here so it blocks the Alpha in and also gets two damage so it also kills the Alpha. Coyote is there. Okay, I would say let's mm, not take two damage for no reason. Okay, this is the attack now. Okay, Enderman's here. Pass, B, and that's dead. Enderman, are you gonna blink? I don't see the Enderman working. Uh, did I read it wrong? When the turn ends, a card behind the sigil will randomly teleport to an available space on the board. Yeah, I don't uh, I don't understand what's happening. Let's actually try to not win this round. So next round I do even more damage. Maybe we see the Enderman blink. Oop, uh, Enderman is not blinking. Whoop! Man, the zombie is insanely powerful. The zombie is broken, completely broken. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go left. There is no reason to go middle or right if I don't have to. And if I get now something good to sacrifice. Why did the spider not get its uh, little explanation? Frail yet cunning skeleton, able to pick off victims from longer distances. Evoker, dating magic evoker, wise and magic, both arcane and are, are cursed. And are cursed. Arcane and are cursed. <laughs> Uh, spider is a uh, one cost one two runs around and also spiky man. This is a good combo. Clinger with spiky is actually a good combo because you can try to use the clinger to pull your spider into a, into harm's way to spike an opponent. Wow, that, that's like I like this. I really like this. Another thing about do you know what would be nice? One cost one one with clinger spiky and poisonous, and then. I mean, no, that, that would be insanely powerful <laughs> because the adder is a 2-2. Two, two. It's a 2 cost 1-1 one, one with not all that thing. Nah, okay, cancel it. I, I'm... You know what? 1 cost, 0-1, poisonous, spiky, and clinger. And then you use it as a YOLO suicide bomb. I don't know. Like, forget it. Forget my balancing tactics. Do, do, do nothing about it. Uh, let's go with Evoker into Enderman, I would say. And then we can combine these and it's going to become a super Enderman 4-8 Evoker um, joints for free. Sounds good. Or I can just reroll and see what we get. Like, uh, this is not the end all be all, so let's just reroll and see what we get. Phantom, infinite life source of all and flyer. The tenacious phantom, a recurring pest to the sleepless traveler. This is insane. Uh, creeper, a ghoulish creeper behind its frowning features on the hand side. I'm not going to take the creeper, obviously. I'm going to go with phantom and I'm going to put it on demand for the tactic that I said that we can combine these two and then it's going to be an immortal flying 4-8 that always joins the match every time it dies. So it's literally immortal. Let's go with this. Let's go with the transfer to send it off to the enderman, as I said. Okay, you into you. Nice. And now I already set up the combined two Enderman. Oh, this is going swimmingly. This is going perfect. And now we lose. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna lose. I mean, I really have safeguards to not lose anymore. Yes, if that makes everything boring. Guys, it's a it's a mod it's a mod showcase. Uh, if you wanna talk about boring or not, you, you can go with the, the Casey's mod runs. Uh, but uh, here in the modded runs, we're, we're having fun. We're just playing around, having fun. I would say we try to play the Enderman, so we have something immortal pretty much. So I would say we do the opening, the classic opening. We're gonna do the classic opening. Just do the classic opening. I could do the Enderman though. I don't need to do the classic. Let's go with the Enderman opening. And it can even block like Coyote. Maybe not if if for once it's gonna do its wow, it actually did its thing. <laughs> it did actually move. For once it actually decided to do what it does. <laughs> uh pass. Boop up. Yep, move to the left. No, it does not move to the left. Uh random unit here. Mm, let's I would say draw the under enderman. Honestly, I think the Sanderman's not gonna cut it. I think I'm gonna play the Amalgam. The Sanderman's gonna come back to my hand anyway. Pass. Boop, boop. Nice. If this Coyote can kill this uh, Buller, we would be very nice. 3-3 three, three is coming in. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking about using the knife and just be done with this. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use the knife and just be done with this. So, knife time. As we low all. Hlatsa hlutsa. Whoops. It's out. Good pass. Dead, dead. Nice. Hammer slammer, one, two, three, four. One of them is gonna be an Enderman literally entering right away. Bop. Enderman. Bop. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing, number two. Everything goes away. 
draw this, we play here, we play, I would say, the zombie, and uh, we just get some cards, and now we pretty much have complete control of this match. What did we get? I want to see what we got. Dead, dead, yep, dead, dead. By the way, Enderman does not zigzaggy, while Zombie does zigzaggy when he tries to move. Uh, yeah, let's draw here and let's see what we got. We got the Wrath, which is the Wraith, which is the double turn for us. We got the Pillager? Not the Villager, I guess. The Pillager. Yeah, I would say let's just get two turns. <laughs> I'll pass my next turn. You are crazy, Lesh. <laughs> you are crazy. So this thing has actually Brittle, so it will die. And, um, well, if it has Brittle and it will die anyway, might as well play the Creeper over here too, so this thing dies too. <laughs> let's go. Boop, boop. Exemplo. Sion. Everything died. And remember, like, ziggy zag, everything goes around. Let's go here. Uh, let's go here. And the world well, the is a flyer anyway, so it doesn't matter that you block him. Boop, boop, boop. Easy win. Easy life. And uh, I love it. I love it. I love the mod. It's, it's, it, it feels well made. I don't know. Uh, let, let's let's continue. Now, now here is the big moment. The big moment everybody is waiting for. Are every is every single rare? Does every single rare cost more than one? First one does. Uh, the ever burning blaze, a trapped soul within the walls of unleashing its final malice before death. Five cost two one insta win, but brittle. I mean, you can transfer it on something to get another insta win card. The wither, hell incarnate, will always on our above. Eight cost three three. Okay, maybe not. Maybe. The village pigman. To provoke it is to start a war. What does this do? Alert. The first time a card bearing the sigil is hit, the player receives a copy of the card. And it says, Hey everyone, get in here. <laughs> um, I mean, it's three bones. But this thing is insane. This is like the wannabe... The wannabe... Uh, what is it called? Fecundity. The wannabe fecundity. Uh, do I want this? I can go with this. I mean, this is just triple strike, easy wins, easy begin. Yeah, no, no, no. Let's let's not go with triple strike. By the way, the rares are even more awesome. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna go with triple strike. Let's let's go with a unique one. Let's go with a unique one. Why not? Give me the eye. Give me the eye, of course. Give me the eye, and I'm excited once again to see if there are googly eyes in this mod too. <laughs> I don't think like I think like one or two mods have googly eyes on their cards or memes. I'm not 100 percent sure. See what we get. I'm gonna go this path, but just remember that there is literally no uh oh there are spiders in this creeper. Um I could go for this and transfer. I don't want a creeper. This is gonna go away from the deck in a bit. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Let's reroll. We'll find better things. Pillager, the loyal pillager, its crossbow proves deadly from distance. The Vindicator. The Merciless Vindicator, it marshes, prevents into battle when cold. I mean, from these two, I would prefer the Vindicator. Um, nope, the Pillager. Spider? Don't want Spider. You know, I'm gonna go with Pillager. Like, a 2 cost 2-3 that snipes. It's it's like the... this. I'm seeing this as a... As a Raven, that you can choose to be a Flyer or not. And that choice is yours. So, I think this is good. In my mind. Now, what my mind has to do with reality, it's not the same most of the time. But it's, uh, most of the time it is actually the same. <laughs> Let's go this path. Flexing. Feeling, <laughs> feeling uh, knowledgeable. Let's see. Oh, squirrel head. Let's go with the squirrel head. Why not? I'm not sure if the squirrel head not being in my starting hand is because of a mod I have. Or if they actually nerfed the base game. I would assume it's with a mod I have. I don't like when mods just decide to nerf the base game when they are uh, prerequisites. Because, you know, most of the mods I have that do something with the game are prerequisites. So, a mod being a prerequisite and also nerfing the game on its own, not really my cup of tea. I am okay with mods nerfing the game. You know, when you literally install the mod to have the game more balanced. Yeah, that I'm okay with that. Like, balanced or easier or harder or whatever, you, you decide how you want to look at it. But I'm not okay with mods that are prerequisites to actually modify things in the game too. But uh, it doesn't matter. Like, honestly, it's not really that much of a bad thing. Um, I'm gonna play the Pillager. I'm, I'm trying to play the... I'm trying to avoid playing the Amalgam on purpose, by the way. I'm gonna play this thing here and pass. Uh, this is the three, so let's snip the... Damage. Let's snip the damage. No damage done here. We take two. Nice. 
go here, pass. I snipe this one too. And next round we're gonna do so much damage. They won't even know what hit him. Let's go here. Zombie pig, pig, pigman. Zombie pigman. Oh, I see. Pass. Boop, boop. Zombie pigman. Pigman. You get it. Pop. And off you go. You know what would be nice? If instead of having... <laughs> if I can get another enderman, enderman. Transfer the zombie pigman on it. And then combine three of them. Let's go this path to throw away the amalgam and also start with one bone. Three. Uh, no, I would like to test splitting. Oh, let's, let's find better cards. I'm pretty sure there are better cards in this. Nope. It, oh, you know what? Might as well. It, it's literally... Yeah. Now, now I'm okay with it. Now I'm okay with it. <laughs> now I am okay with it. And there is a transfer signal coming up too. Uh, you are out. I'm sorry, but... That's how it goes. You were not supposed to be part of this anyway. You were never made for this. Let's go this path. Blood cost. I'm gonna go with one blood again. I think one blood was pretty decent yet. We might as well get a spider. Whoop. Flippity flip. Not really a flip. Zomb. Eh. Tries to block. Hmm. Uh, you know what? I'm willing to take three. To not damage the zombie. I'm not sure if it was a good decision. Uh, I'm about to take three, and the rat. Oh, the rattler's gonna yolo over here and kill the adder. Nice. I two tactics of the opponents. Bop, boop, dead. Good job, Leshy. Good job. Your planning is very good. I'm doing three, and I'm about to take 50. I would say we go with a pig, which is gonna spawn an enderman. Pass. Boop, boop, boop. Yep, I'm gonna about to take five, which is not gonna be five because tactics. Nice. And now I would say we go with a pillager over here, which is gonna do a snip. Pop, pop, pop. Easy enough. I blocked in the zombie on purpose because it's the only one that survives the adder. And when I say on purpose, I mean I was not thinking about it. <laughs> I lied. It was not on purpose. <laughs> Let's continue. <laughs> I'm not good with <laughs> with units moving around. If it isn't apparent, <laughs> if I haven't said it already a thousand times, I got the spider. I was expecting the spider. I, I might have shot my shot, shoot, shot, shot myself on the foot here. Um, is this a 2-2? Two, two? I thought it was a 2-3. Does this thing go down every time you play it? Anyway, I'm gonna sacrifice the spider on the pillager, I think. I don't really want to have the spider in the deck. Like, it, it's not that much of a good unit. The, spl the slime, I want to play it and see how it works exactly. The zombie pigman might get removed later, but for now, let's throw away the spider. And uh, yeah, let's put on the pillager. Now it has spikes too, and now I can also control how to avoid it, uh, how to avoid getting it killed. I would like to get a mycologist, please. Please don't tell me this is the boss fight. Which might be the boss fight. There is a very good chance the boss fight. By the way, I just really realized that we lost the zombie archer that we had in the beginning. So now it's a 2-2. Why is this a 2-2? Do I remember this wrong? Wasn't this a 2-3? Please don't tell me it becomes weaker. Let's go with... Play this. Play this. Let's see here. Let's start moving. Up. Coyote. Koyuji's not gonna do anything to us. Um, I can't really play the zombie pigman. Let's just draw this. And we're about to take three. Three is okay. Ah, we're about to take one, actually. Even better. Nice. Let's go with a pillager. Over here. Now, we're never gonna attack the bullfrog. It's gonna spike itself. It's gonna spike itself once. And then I'm gonna shoot it and kill the other from in the back lane, too. Pass. Kill this so it kills the rattler in the back lane, too. And this does three damage. Fleshy, which is a lot better than any alternative. Nice. Uh, now I can play the Pikmin, but the Rattler is coming in, so that's really bad. Uh, yeah, well, it's not testing time right now. Pass. Win. Is the Pikmin now a 2-1? It's still a 2-2. I, I don't know what I... Something, something, uh, something, something I was wrong. Wraith. In terrifying Wraith, opponents will always hesitate when coming face to face with I'm gonna take this just because it's broken. 
Ooh, Phantom Tear. No, I'm gonna take this because it's broken, and uh, if anything, I will try to transfer it on something that costs one. <laughs> so, let's take this thing. Let's go for a transfer, I would say. Actually, I don't have anything that costs one right now, so I can't even do the transfer that I just mentioned. Uh, I can transfer the slime to the zombie pigment, though, to see how exactly that will work. So, let's do that. Or I can get the sigil. No, let's uh, let's get the sigil on the squirrels. Why not? Let's get the sigil on the squirrels. I have time for the transfers. Uh, I prefer to pretty much not give them anything, or then instead of giving them flying and oh, flying and move around. What? What insanely good sigils to roll, man. I don't say I should have gone for the transfer. I mean, if I get, I, I, I'm gonna get like a million bones here, so maybe I will have the chance to actually play these things and see what they look like when they split. And if I don't, then I can just hammer slammer them anyway. Just literally play them in hammer slammer, and that's that. Bone. It like dropped as a coin. Ra wraith. Uh, can I win turn one? I don't think I can win turn one. Wraith. I don't need to win turn one. We got time. I'm gonna give him some pigs. Who cares? Oh. Kingfisher. Kingfisher. Okay, we are winning right now. So I'm gonna draw a real card here. Enderman. Yep, we're doing a win. Pop. We are doing a win. <laughs> That's how people speak. It's gonna be three damage zombie now. Run, zombie, run! What are we doing? It's gonna attack, move away, and make us take four damage. Love it. Love it. <laughs> oh, God, I love it, man. Um, Let's... <laughs> this is not gonna go well. I'm gonna play... Yeah, this is gonna go well. Cancel that. So... Okay, my plan was to try to draw the, the thing. I'm gonna go here. Okay, this is a flying unit, so we're not in no danger whatsoever. Here I'm gonna play the Wrath. Wraith. I play it here, so I'm not gonna open up another close. Yeah, we're gonna skip. I know. I'm gonna pass. Now I'm also blocking the zombie in. Or does the wraith die first? Well, it's still blocked in, so plan is good. Now I hope, I really hope I draw the slime. Yes, no, this is not the slime. This is not the slime. <laughs> Damn it, I'm winning. Uh, wow, this this great white was like, ah, I guess I'm, I'm, I, I just got revealed in the wrong time. I guess I'm gonna die. Why did that thing get revealed? Oh, because he didn't play like Leshy never played. Let's see. Second chance. Second chance. Are there low cost elite relics here? Elites here. Skeleton horseman. The skeleton horseman. Its steed mirrors its own composition, bones, absent of flesh. Does this thing exist in Minecraft? What have I missed? Skeleton strafe. When the card behind the sigil is on the void, at the end of the turn, it will move and place the skeleton in its previous place. Yep, that thing and that thing. This is the most unique one. Um, yeah, this is the most unique one, but the thing is... It's not playable. <laughs> That's the problem, it's not playable. Um, I can transfer it, though. Like, having a unit that moves around and gives us four bones, and I, I also have, like, I need bones in the deck, so let's go with the horseman and try to transfer it on something. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I still have the mod that says that I cannot, I... Like, the starting hand thing is fixed. The reason I have that mod, in, in case you're like, oh, Sift, you have a mod that makes your starting hand even better. Yeah, the reason for me to doing that is not because I want an easy game. It's because I want to be able to pick up bone cost without losing instantly because of it. Because right now, if I had the old mechanic, these three might have had might have been in my starting hand and then I would have died like instantly. At least now I know for a guarantee that I'm going to get the zombie. And because of that, I can just experiment with drawing a bunch of cards and doing whatever I want to. You know what? Now that I'm standing up, might as well go pick up these. Just for it. Just, just, just for I'm gonna go like this path. I'm guaranteeing throwing something out the bin. I'm gonna try here to win. Uh, bones is an easy win, as I have. Nah, bones is. Yeah, I have one, two, three, four bone units. Blood is a less of a chance. Two cost, two cost. No, bones is easier. If I draw a single two cost. No, I need to only roll bone. Mm. Oh, wait a minute. I'm gonna go with this. This is always a win if you don't have tribes. So no tribe, no tribe, no tribe, and this is a win. Failure, what? In case he's mod, it's a win. 
<laughs> um, items to use. Damn it. I wanted to win. One time I decided to win. Uh, I think Zombie Pigman was pretty disappointing. Said the player receives a copy of it in hand. Like, eh, it's a wannabe for quantity. I prefer these. Like, these are more unique. At least they feel more unique. Even this thing just needs to get transferred on something. What that something is, nobody knows yet. You're out. You're out. Let's continue. So in this fight, I should definitely, definitely use items. I mean, definitely, definitely, but the items I have are already insane. What? 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 Can I? Can I do this? Whoa. Now the now it's on the ground. Okay, nice. Let's go with. I can flip it. Let's go with a zombie. I play it here so it moves around and blocks the alpha and kills the alpha. And then moves over to the other side and kills the other thing too. Yeah, let's do that. We go pig into zombie. Do one damage, kill the alpha next turn. I take one right now. Yep. Alpha's gonna die. And next turn I'm gonna take two and one three. And uh, I will kill the alpha and then I'm also gonna kill the raven next turn after that. So let's draw cards to start playing the pillager if possible. So this is dead. Moves to the right. This is gonna be two. I'm gonna take one from this. Even better. Now this is also gonna die from the damage. Man, I love this. You know what? This I am okay with. Honestly, you know, I hate the... I, I know I have stated like a million times that they have the sprinter sigil. But this thing is actually fun. Because with this thing... Um, although it's the sprinter sigil, which is a negative in my mind. In my opinion. This at least buffs up the unit. So you can have some more fun times. Let's go. This is a sparrow. Okay, I'm gonna play the slime on the left then. Because I want the slime to die, theoretically. Boop. Yep. This is gonna die. Oh, I have to target. Uh. uh <laughs> let's go here. Nice. Okay, this is dead. So the slime now will die. Because of the spikes. Uh, I guess they draw a real card. You know what? Because... Okay, I, I know that this game's ha this game has a few bugs. So, when a card bearing the sigil dies, it will split itself to a small version of itself. I will assume... Okay, I might be wrong here. Completely wrong. Okay, I do... I I'm mentioning this right now. I might be completely wrong. But I have found some bugs here and there with things happening in my turn. So, because, uh, like, this might only work if Leshy is attacking. And because it has spike and I'm gonna kill it with spikes, I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna hammer slammer it. And this has, like, a, a less... A less a chance of being a bug. Oh, it becomes... Wow. Please tell me then this splits even more. The slime is insane. The slime might be insanely insane right now. Uh, I have to target. Actually, let's go for the win. Oh, we didn't win. The slime is actually insanely insane. Um, oh, I want to see what this splits into. Are you kidding me? Oh, zero ones. Oh, and then you sacrifice them. Oh, <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so it's a one three, then becomes two one one twos, which is pretty decent. And then it splits into a wow, this is insane. So, normally the game is like four cost, one one cockroach. And here we are, four cost, one three, and then that splits into one two one twos. And then those split into four one or zero ones. And you get an infinite sacrifices. Inseparable Skeleton Jockey. It's Spider Steed grants its great mobility. And these two are literally the same. This costs one bone and has targeting. And this does not cost one bone and does not have targeting. I should have looked in front to see what's coming in. I would like to experiment with the splitting on something else. Will it always spawn slimes? Because splitting on the Wrath, Wraith would be a nice idea. Let's try splitting on the Wraith. I want to see if this does actually do something based on the card it's used or if it's always taking the default slime or whatnot uh i don't want any of these honestly another zombie a simple skeleton at this point i don't want to break my opening hand like let's just take the book like the zombie does not really help like at all there is no reason to take this this neither like none of them are reasonable picks like the archer maybe, but I prefer to have my two bones for the four bones units. And I forgot to use items. But yeah, I mentioned at the end that I do not care about using items. So cancel that. Let's go snip. Let's go this path. This time, this time try to win and go to the flame too. I, I did not find a single mycologist, man. I never made my super enderman that I wanted to create. 
Really disappointing. And we got the Elkhorn um, maneuver fight. I don't even know what to say. Uh, yeah, I mean, we just play the zombie. I don't know what I'm thinking here. Pass. We do one, we take two. <laughs> more elk fawns, more elk fawns. This elk fawn is never gonna get played. Uh, let's try a card. I would say let's play the Enderman on purpose. I can either play the Enderman or the Pillager next turn. Play the Enderman, I just play the pig. Yeah, let's play the pig so we, um, you know, don't take a 4,000 damage. And we only take two. Yeah, actually, that was a good decision because that was a loss. Uh, let's continue drawing cards. So, I this will do two. So, I am forced to throw a pig under the bus again. Because, once again, um, yeah, we're going to lose otherwise. Let's go here. Pass. We do two. Nice. Enderman is not really using this. It feels like because I played the Enderman with Corpse Eater, this, uh, the shift does not work, like, at all. That's what it feels like. I don't know if it's facts or fi facts or fiction. I lost. Oh, we survived. Wow. I thought we actually lost. <laughs> I thought I made a huge mistake. Uh, hello, Enderman. I'm going to play the this thing, the pillager on the left, so that the zombie has a wiggle room. Oh, this thing did actually move. Okay. Uh, yeah, everybody kill its own target. Enderman. Flippity flippity. I like this. I love this. I, lo I love that we're dancing. Let's win. Whoop. I love that everything is like dancing around. I should have played the um, ah damn it. Should have played the pig there for the photo shoot. <laughs> that was a very good photo shoot moment. Yeah, bones, blood, sigil. Sigils is a free win. I want to win here. I want to win to see even more cards, even if it uh, bloats our deck. Uh, I don't, I really don't care. Another Enderman with searching a card. I like this. Uh, another spider with gives you the hex right away. I I like this too. Let's go with the spider. I mean, I was avoiding the spider, and now it's actually useful. Might as well take it. Uh, let's go flames. Oh, found the macologist. Very nice. Good thing I didn't pick up the other enderman. I mean, why good thing? Nothing changes, really. Um, you know what I'm going to do? Experiment time. Flame the spider. I'm going to say twice. We YOLO this. I'm okay with this. And now this is an insta win, or it's a super insta win? It's an insta win if... I if if the if the spawn unit is a two one, it's a super insta win. If the spawn unit took da gets plus damage from the flames, I drop both of them. Let's see, is this a super win or is it just a win? It's just a win. Okay, okay, just a win works too. I can play the wrath. Wrath. Pass. I could play the wrath, but I don't think it matters. I don't even care about money. Of course, we get like a last ditch effort here in the game. Yeah, pelts for sale, blah, blah, blah. You know what? Give me this. Mm, just to see more cards. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Two, two is okay for us. I'm not going to destroy my deck, but I also want to, at the very end, do the event and try to get more of them. What I'm talking about is, by the way, that, you know, at the end of... Uh, before you go against Leshy, you get the choice to choose three, and one of the three choices is a shop, so I'm going to go shop. This is a 4-8 now. Very nice. 4-8, Immortal... Wait a minute. What happened at the bottom? Yep, this 4-8, uh, Immortal uh, spawns itself and it dies on the field and I don't know what else. Okay, here it's a pirate boss, obviously, because... Yeah, we're playing modded and why not pirate boss? Might as well make have a hard fight at the end. Wait. Yep, nope, it's it's a pirate boss. So at least might as well have a harder fight here at the end. And this is the real end boss, by the way, because, you know, Final Lash is a joke. Uh, we got the Super Enderman here, so this is a win. <laughs> Ding, ding. I love the music. I love everything. Let's go with... Let's go and try to move. It's not gonna move. Uh, just play everything. I would say here so we smack and move. Instead of moving and smacking and moving. Yeah, it's the same difference for me. Uh, this still will do zero damage and do nothing. Good job. It blocks itself, blocks the Revenant. And while the Revenant is actually going to open from the Great Smoke, Great Smoke is going to spawn everyone for free. Skilled Horseman is going to have enough energy to play, get played. Everything is going perfectly. Pillager. Uh, I'm not going to play the Pillager. I don't really need to. Everything is going to sort itself out in a moment. 
Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> what is even happening? Uh, let's continue like drawing some non-real cards. Mm, this is gonna die. This is gonna do one damage. Yeah, it's the same scenario as previously. That. Okay, we're not winning. That's really important right now because I want to first spawn the super unit on the board. Well, and now I want to maybe die or survive. Pass. It doesn't matter. Bone hunters one damage. This continues gaining damage. Oh no, now this is gonna get blocked. Uh, pass. Nice. Now let's see what happens with the bombs. I'm pretty sure zombie's gonna die. I hope like the Enderman's gonna take uh, five bombs or something, but the zombie's gonna die for sure. Yep, it's dead. One less bomb, one less bomb would have survived. My hand is gonna get toasted here. At least the villager and the skeleton thing survived, and we got like a million cannonballs. Okay, this thing supposedly moves around, by the way. <laughs> Let's, um... I'm gonna play the cannonball on the very right for sure to block the revenant end. I can also play the skeleton horseman. Yeah, but the Revenant definitely has to get blocked in. And this thing will not move around, but I don't really care about that. Let's try a real car, uh, a pig. Mm, should I do this? Can we win right now? Yeah, we win right now. Let's just for the win. I don't even want to play the cannon. Forget the cannon. The cannon does not exist in this universe. Cannon does not exist in this universe, boys. And we win. Skeleton Horseman did actually its job. Nice. You know, honestly speaking, I like these uh, extremely high costs that are only usable in the in the boss fights because you start with a million uh, candles. But safety normally don't start with million candles. Ender Dragon. Ooh, another high, high cost unit. The gold like and godlike Ender Dragon keeps keeper of an entire realm guarded by its magical powers. First of all, black background, love it. Man, this whole background thing is very nice that they changed the cards and did whatever they want. It's like we are a mod and we're gonna be different than the others. Full cost. 410 with Crystal Conjurer. When a card bearing the sigil is placed, it will create a crystal card on either side. A crystal is defined as zero power, one health healer, and shatter. I might take this just to see what it does. Piglin Brute. The hardened Piglin Brute. It cares not for what is in its way as it swings its axe widely. So this is a 3 cost, 2-5, and moves around and gets damage, and also sideways attack and touch by this is like insane. And a skeleton horseman. And I'm gonna go for the most unique one here, being the ender dragon. I wanna see what these crystals are. And um, yeah, there's that. there isn't anything else to explain. Pretty sure people also care about uniqueness. Am I right? Am I right? I don't know, might be wrong. We're gonna go to the shop here to get rid of the pelts, and also see what the... Um, you know the other cards are. Maybe we're gonna see some new things. Steve! Oh, Steve! The protagonist is here. By the way, I haven't found a single enchanted book in the run other than the shopkeeper. Isn't that a bit rare? Like, these things are... You go to sack and use them for... Like, the drawn... Like, this is very good. This, this book would be very good if it was my starting one. Otherwise, drowned. Two cost, two one, poisonous, and waterborne. I, I'm not sure if I mentioned it already, but I think when you have a waterborne, don't give it one life. I mean, this makes it weak to spikes. Or do you want to have it weak to spikes? Yeah, I guess if you want to have it weak to spikes, then fair enough. But uh, waterborns with one life, weak to spikes. God, just couldn't remember. What is this, Steve? Mine. The creature with his usual attacks a terrain card. So that would be pretty much the fierce. The terrain card is added to your hand and removed from the board. Ooh. Nice mechanic. Not gonna use it. Not gonna get this. In general, I'm gonna make my deck worse, so I'm just gonna go with the slime and let that be that. Piglin, 2 cost 2 4. Piglin Brute, 3 cost 2 5. Sideways attack, spikes, and moves. Wither Skeleton, 4 cost 1 4 with poisonous. And with the Witherer, 8 bones, 3 3. Um, from all of these, the Piglin is the best one. Like, the Piglin is a 2 cost, 2 4 sniper, while in the same mod, it, uh, there is the Pillager, which is a 2 cost, 2 3 sniper. So, rarity just gave it plus 1 health. Isn't that like a little bit too little? I think it's a little bit too little. Um, 
You know what? I'm just gonna go with the Wither here, the, the Wither Skeleton. There is one single reason for that. I, I want to experiment with the Ender Dragon, and uh, at the very, very, very end with the Moon, there is a chance I'm gonna lose the run just because I am experimenting and playing around. While if I have at least one Poisonous Unit, I know for a fact that I can just play the Poisonous Unit, kill the Moon, and be done with that. So, there's that. I'm not gonna try to use this, I'm not gonna abuse it. I mean, if, if, I, if I'm done experimenting with the Dragon, I will abuse it, but... Like, I'm gonna try to not abuse it. I'm gonna try to just play the game normally. And um, I just have that to get rid of that aspect of the game. Let's go here. Draw whatever you want. Now, now I can guarantee that I'm not gonna play the Wither. Here I'm gonna go flying as I do have some flyers. Like, a one or two, maybe. <laughs> yep, I got it. Got it. Got it. Achacha, achacha, achacha. If I start with this in bo on board, I can actually play the Ender Dragon right away. Or I can just do this and draw two piglins each round. We will start the battle with the black goat on the board. I think I want to do this to play the ender dragon right away. Yeah, let's go with this. Let's go ender dragon right away. I know that drawing two cards per round would almost achieve the same thing, but honestly speaking, like honestly, honestly speaking, I don't care about this whole thing. I only care about the ender dragon mechanic. I, like, th there isn't anything else to showcase, really. So, let's just do the Ender Dragon, see what it does, see what the conduits do, and uh, just win. First turn, I'm, like, literally gonna draw the, um, the insta-win card, and then we're gonna win. So, like, these fights should not matter at all. My my main plot here is that I will try to hammer slammer the dragon to death. <laughs> let's hope the, hammer, the dragon's not gonna get hammer slammered. Or, or if I have the hammer slammer, if I have my, the, if I have insanely powerful cards in my starting hand, then I can just win right away and just also play the hand, dragon. Like play the dragon next turn and see what it does and don't really wait for it. So I think it's going to spawn them both left and right. So I think I should go for an insta win right now. And then next turn, draw the dragon from the deck. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So we go with snip this. Okay. Let's go with play the pig. The pig becomes a spider. The spider becomes the fix, and that's a win right now. Boop. Okay, this phase is done. That's how quickly we go through this. We just experiment, and that's it. Grand Fear, oh no, who cares? Let's go here. Where's the dragon? Here it is, Ender Dragon. And we're gonna read this again. When a bearing the scissor is placed, it will create a crystal card on either side, so left and right. So therefore, I should get rid of the vex and the black goat and play the dragon on this spot. So let's go whoop and hoop, and let's see what this looks like. Why is this thing? Ah, it tries to move. And what does do the crystals do? Healer. A card bearing the sigil will replenish the health of its neighbor cards every turn by two until it reaches their natural health. Nice. Shatterer. When a card bearing the sigil dies, it will deal three damage to opposing card and the cards adjacent to it. Oh, nice. What a fun mechanic. This is like literally a boss fight. Kill the crystals and you do damage to the Ender Dragon. Do not kill the crystals and they heal it. And uh, Mighty Leap. Okay, and there's that pretty much. So we just uh, showcased what the Ender Dragon looks like. Uh, are we not winning in a round, literally? Yeah, we're literally winning in a round, so I can just pass here. I, I don't really need to do anything. I'm going to play the Wrath and other things next round. Pop, pop. Yeah, he's going to fake uh, a Hammer Slammer, but it's not really going to happen. Uh, that's for a real card. Let's draw the... Um, let's draw the insta -win skeleton. Although I'm not gonna most likely play it. I, I want to play some other things. I want to play the slime. I want to win with the slime. So let's pass here. That as this is a win anyway. Well, nice. Hammer slammer is done. Oh, photo shoot. Photo shoot. Photo shoot. Honestly, maybe I should just poison this. Poison the thing and be done with it. Ah, that's a real card. Let's go with a zombie. Now, why did I go with a zombie, you might ask? Well, I'm gonna go with a zombie because the zombie does actually work on this moon, and I would just want to get a nice little photo shoot going. I'm not gonna play. Ah, let's pass. By the way, there is no chance that we lose. Like, here, that's just gonna say, Awakening my moon with a foul order? Absurd! <laughs> Uh, what else do I want in the photo shoot at the end? Evoker? Nah. Slime? Pillager? Enderman. Let's go with Enderman as the final addition to this team. Can I sacrifice the crystal? No, you cannot sacrifice the crystal. Okay. So, let's go with this. 
I know it's gonna do 3 damage trick here and there. Doesn't really matter to us. We get the Enderman for free. That was the idea. And then here we're gonna go with the slime. And I guess that's gonna be the photo shoot. Boop, boop, boop. I'm a bit sad that I don't have any, like, character from the game. Uh, I, I mean, I had the chance to get Steve. Wait a minute, I just realized something. But could Steve kill the moon? Ah, I didn't think about it. How would I have thought about it? Should have thought about it. Should have thought about Steve killing the moon. <laughs> Should have thought about it. It's okay. This mod is insane. I love it. I love it. I love... Uh, maybe the card balance, like, uh, doesn't really matter. But although it felt... It felt above average. I have to say that. It felt above average in power level. But the um, the card, the art, and the background... And I love it, man. I uh, What a good mod. What a good mod. Uh, I, I haven't played, like, Minecraft. I have only played a little bit. You know, the classic case of, yo, let's try Minecraft, etc. But, uh, you know, I, I really quickly burned out and um, didn't play the game really that much. So I don't really know the characters and I also don't know how very representative they are. Or if they are known or whatnot, I, I really don't. But uh, still, I, I really like the mod. Like, the mod was definitely good. So this is mine cards pretty much. And um, yeah, that's it. Don't digress. You have won. And uh, we're going to end this here. So once again, if you like the video, drop a like on the channel. And if and obviously, it's also going to help with the algorithm in both sides. So you're going to see more of the mine. And um, yeah, as I said, really enjoyed the mod. Uh, as I said, the name is there, Minecards, for the mod specifically. I do have a link in the description about the code for Mod Manager. But most of the time, they break. So there is a good chance it's not even going to work the moment I upload this video. And um, yeah, I, I really like the art. The The mod was, as I said, in power level, it was above average. It also seemed to have the same problem with the rares, always being expensive or hard to cast. I don't know what every single mod does that. Uh, maybe I didn't find the specific cheap rares that this mod had. I don't know. But uh, yeah, still, it, it still suffers the same problem. Uh, <laughs> you know, sometimes I really would like to have a mod where I get a rare card and I'm like, oh man, I'm going to build the deck around this thing or I'm going to sacrifice on something else. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, still, that's like a, such a small negative, it doesn't even matter. I, I really like the art, like the background was nice and above having uh, different colors. And I don't know if you realize that, but I did mention it, but I realized that for some reason I didn't mention it. But uh, around the name of every card, if it was like a little greenish and villages, it, it was like cards that were good. And when the cards were evil, like Enderman and um, I don't know, the dragon, everything was black. So that was a fun mechanic, I guess, based on where the unit, based on where you find those on the, on the, what is it called? Based on where you find them in the real game, the, the art was based on that. I don't know. I haven't played the game, as I said. And I also liked something that we didn't use. I really liked the enchantment book idea. Uh, the, the idea that we have some cards in this mod that are completely useless on their own and unplayable, but they have good sigils on them. So you can transfer like an insta-kill sigil on something, you can transfer the, the vex sigil on something just by taking the zero cost. Obviously it's more smart to pick the three cost and transfer the vexing symbol with that because the three cost at least is playable because the book is literally not playable. Um, but um, still, <laughs> it's a smart idea though. I have to say, it's a smart idea and I like it. The the cards that exist are for the sole reason of transferring them. That's like, that's like literally having a pack rat, but instead of being a two cost two two, it's a zero cost. It's unplayable. Literally unplayable. And it bloats your deck. Uh, obviously, Pack Rat is a very extreme example because it's overpowered. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, I think a bunch of people hated me. Or not hated me. Like, a, a, a bunch of people disagree with the fact that Pack Rat should not have got nerfed. And um, I, I do understand it with the standpoint of it's a boring card to see you get played again and again. I do understand with that point. But my main point about that was... Uh, it's unfair for people that uh, wanted an easier experience. You know, just because some people get bored of seeing it, just because some people felt like, oh, if I pick it up, I just win and the f game is boring. It's not fair to, you know, take the easy win away from people that wanted easy wins. I mean, I, I wasn't even forcing pack rats all the time. I was playing it pretty often, but I wasn't trying to force pack rats every single run. And I was not picking it because... Oh, I want to challenge myself, but I didn't pick it because I didn't want to have a free win again. I mean, once in a while. Anyway, uh, it doesn't really matter. Let's not digress here again with the pack of discussion. This mod is actually fun. And uh, like I said, every time I'm doing a new mod, comment down below your opinions about what you just saw so that the mod will come in the comment section and just start reading them. And, you know, he's going to give you his opinions or her opinions. Um, um, like, 
yeah, the mod is gonna give their opinion on the mod. So, on this whole thing. I mean, not their opinion. They're gonna read your opinions. That's what I'm trying to say here. The mod's gonna come along. is gonna see your opinions. gonna like, oh, wait a minute. That's right. Uh, maybe that thing should be like that. And maybe that thing should be like that. Let's not, let's not all base on what I say, right? Because if nobody comments anything and the mod just sees my video, then I guess that's all the feedback <laughs> he's, she or he is getting. So, once again, that's going to be it for today, though. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I definitely like the run. I definitely like the mod. I definitely like seeing something unique. Like I, I really like the fact that this was not buggy or whatever. It, it, it didn't feel like completely broken. It didn't feel like it was repeating cards. The only thing that I felt was repeating cards was the 2-4 the uh, pig. And that at the moment I saw it, I mentioned it instantly. Otherwise, I love the mod. It was a fun mod. Anyway, that's going to be it. Once again, thanks for watching. And see you guys around.